everyone welcome to another video today we will be solving cambridge igcc biology 062021 may june 2022 you'll be given 45 minutes to solve 40 multiple choice questions including completing your bubble sheet let's begin Number one, all living organisms release energy from nutrient molecules within their cells. What is the name of these characteristics? Okay, so as nutrients, all living organisms take in glucose, which is C6H12O6, to respire in the presence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide water and energy. the name of this process is called respiration so 1c is the only correct answer number two which diagram shows a flower from a monocotyledon okay for monocotyledons we know we must know that um, the flower petals has to be multiple of three. The number of flower petals has to be a multiple of three. There are only five petals in all A, B, C. So D is the only correct answer as it has six petals. Number three, the diagram shows a cross section through two guard cells of a leaf. Which label structures would also be found in an animal cell. So uh, for animal cells, W is the nucleus, X is the cell membrane, Y is the chloroplast, and Z is the cell wall. So we know that uh, an, an animal cell has a nucleus, it has a cell membrane. It does not have any chloroplast, and neither does it have cell wall. So W and X is the same. Okay. Four. The diagram shows a cross section to a leaf. Which label shows a tissue? Okay. Uh, this is the cross section of the leaf. A is not the answer because it contains multiple cells, multiple types of cells. And tissue is not, a tissue is only one type of cell that works for only one function. So A is not the answer. B is the upper cuticle and we don't call it a tissue. C is the spongy mesophyll layer, spongy cells, you can say. So C is only one type of cell that well, works as a gas exchange system for the leaf. So C has to be the answer as D is also, uh, D is only the stomata, which is not a cell. It's just a, it's a gap to two cells. It's a gap between two cells. So is the only quick answer. Number five, which statement describes the net movement of air particles during diffusion? A, from higher to lower concentration down a concentration gradient. This is the only definition of, uh, the, of the process of diffusion. None of B, C, or D is correct. Only A is correct. Number six, the diagram shows a section through a mesophyll cell of a leaf. Which part is partially permeable? The only partially permeable uh, part uh, we studied is the cell membrane. You just have to identify which of these options are a cell membrane. So uh, as you can see, A is the cell wall. B is the cell membrane, yes. So B is the only correct answer. 
C is just the nucleus, D is the vacuole, so none of these are partially permeable. Seven, what are the smaller basic units of starch and glycogen molecules? Uh, okay, starch is the storage molecule for plants and glycogen is the storage molecule for animals. So both of these store glucose. So D is the only part. Uh, uh, both of these store glucose as their storage molecules. So D is the only part. So in a length of DNA, 20 of the bases were T. What is the percentage of base G in this length of DNA? Okay, um, in a length of DNA, the only base sequence possible are A, T, A, T, C, and G. And uh, from the base pairing rule, we know A bond binds with T and C binds with G. So um, if 20% is T, so there must be 20% of A as well. So there goes our 40%. So 100 minus 40 is 60. And if we divide the 60% equally to C and G, we get 30% each. So C is the only correct answer, 30%. Nine, some terms used to describe enzyme control reactions are listed. One catalyst, two product, three protein, four substrates. Uh, which term describes an enzyme? Enzymes are described as biological catalysts, which are made by protein. So one and three, this, these are the only terms to describe an enzyme. One and three, A is the correct answer. Number 10, which statement describes the effect of temperature on enzymes? High temperatures denature enzymes, making it difficult for substrate molecules to fit into the active site. This makes sense. The temperature is denature enzymes, making it easy for substrate molecules to fit into the right? No, it does not make it easy. So, um, so this will be wrong. Low temperature is denature enzyme. No, low temperature does not uh, low temperature denature. Both of these are wrong. So A is the only correct answer you can see. Only high temperature will denature enzyme and the substrate molecules uh, will find it hard to fit into the active site. Okay, number 11. Tomato food production was measured in five different environmental conditions. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, and what is a correct conclusion for the data shown in the graph? A, there are no limiting factors in one, so tomato food production is the lowest. Since there are no limiting factors, we can say that it will, uh, the fruit production should be the highest, so this does not make sense. Uh, temperature is the limiting factor in we no, we have uh, we have given heat to the glass house, so this won't be a limiting factor. Carbon dioxide is the limiting factor in all five environmental conditions. No, there is uh, for, uh, carbon there is carbon dioxide mentioned in four and five, where we have where we have supplied carbon dioxide in excess. So this cannot be a limiting factor, at least in all five environmental conditions. No. Uh, D, light is the limiting factor in four. Okay, this makes sense because there is no mention of light in four. So D, yes, D should be the correct answer to this one. Number 12, how do the air spaces in the spongy mesophyll of a leaf help to adapt it for photosynthesis? 
air spaces. They're mentioning air spaces. So they act as a store of oxygen. No. Why would the plant store oxygen? They just diffuse it out of the leaf to the air spaces. So no, it's not a store of oxygen. B, they allow carbon dioxide gas to diffuse through the leaf more rapidly. Yes, this one is correct. It, uh, carbon dioxide is very easily diffusing through the leaves, through the cells, and it becomes easier for the movement of carbon dioxide to pass in and out. 13. What is the dietary importance of fiber in humans? For growth and repair of cells. No, this is the job of the protein. So dietary fiber has no relationship to this. To help move, uh, to help food move through the alimentary canal. Yes, alimentary canal is actually the digestive system. You can say. So um, we are very encouraged to have fibers in our diet so that we can avoid constipation and as a result the food moves easily through the through our digestive tract so b is the only correct answer to maintain strong bones and teeth no uh, to provide energy no actually 14. In which part of the alimentary canal does ingestion take place? Again, alimentary canal is the digestive tract. And uh, for ingestion, we know ingestion is taking the food in. So we only take the food in through our mouth. None of these are none of the options are correct. None of the other options are correct. So 14C. 15. A non woody plant stem is placed in water containing a red dye. It is left for one day and then a section of the stem is examined using a microscope. Which tissue is stained red? Okay, um, if you see the diagram, we know B is the phloem. B is the xylem. And xylem is the one uh, tissue that transports water. So if it if the red dye is contained within the water, the xylem will take the water in, and as, as a result, it will be stained as well. So D is the only correct option. Sixteen. The diagram shows a cross section to a leaf from which cell will most water evaporate during transpiration. Uh, transpiration uh, will occur through the stomata and the closest cell to the stomata is the spongy mesophyll cell. So D will be the current. So this is the one that will lose the most water. He is the correct answer. 17. The diagram shows the circulatory system of a fish. Um, where in the circulatory system is the oxygen concentration lowest? Okay. Hard to gills, it will have the lowest oxygen concentration because gills are the gas exchange system for fishes. And Y will have the Maximum concentration. No, this will not be the answer. Uh, body to heart. Yes, this will also have very low. This will have the least concentration. So, since there is no Z, we can say 17A is the only part. Eighteen. What is a function of the lymphatic system? The uh, lymphatic system has the function of regulating body fluids um, or fluid balance, as you can say. So 18C will be the correct answer. So it has the function to circulate body fluids.
19, the graph shows the response of the body to vaccination. X concentration in the blood. Vaccination is occurring at this time. And which word should be used to replace the letter X to complete the label on the Y axis? Okay, antibody, 19A is the correct answer. As by vaccination, we wait for a bit and then the concentration is increasing. So only the antibody will increase because, because the antibody works to destroy the antigen or the pathogen. So the concentration in the blood will increase. 20. Which cell produce mucus? Ciliated cells? No. Goblet cells? Yes. Goblet cells are mostly present in digestive tracts and the airways. Uh, especially the airways produce a lot of mucus to trap the dark particles. So 20B will be the correct answer for this. 21. Which row shows a change that occurs during ventilation? The expiration has air movement out. B can be correct. Expiration causes the air to go in. So expiration increases the thorax pressure and decreases the volume of the thorax. So B is the only correct answer. 22. What is the balanced chemical equation for anaerobic respiration in yeast? Okay, since it's anaerobic, there will be no use of oxygen. And as we know, yeast produces ethanol and carbon dioxide. So C is the only correct answer, as all the other options show water as the product, and water is not produced during anaerobic respiration, at least, yeah. 23, which statement correctly explains the difference in glucose concentration in the kidney tubule between X and Y? Okay, the glucose concentration is higher at X than Y. Yes, this too might be correct. The glucose concentration will not be high in Y compared to X since the glucose will be reabsorbed into the blood. It will not end up in urine. The reasons given are glucose moves out of the kidney tubule by osmosis. That is not correct. Glucose cannot move by osmosis because osmosis is the movement of water. So A won't be correct. B is the only correct answer for this. 24. Where in the eye is the greatest concentration of cells that allow humans to see color? This is a very straightforward answer. This is the fovea, which is opposite to the lens. This is the area where there are most cells present. If the image is captured here, we can see it very clearly. 25, a scientist investigated the effect of drinking ice water on skin temperature. They drank a large volume of ice water and monitored the temperature of their skin. The results are shown in the graph. Which explanation of the change in skin temperature during the first 10 minutes is correct? Okay, since they had iced water, there will be, the temperature will be cold and as a result, vasoconstriction will occur. Now we have to check, increasing uh, blood flow to the skin. Uh, if the blood flow increased, the temperature would be high. So 25B will be the correct. There will be reduced blood flow, which will cause the skin temperature to decrease. 
26, an experiment was set up to investigate the growth of shoots in different conditions as shown. Direction of light is coming from the right side, which diagram shows the result that would be seen a few days later. This has no shoot tip removed, so this will grow to the direction of light to get maximum light. So A, B, D might be correct. Um, A will not be correct since the shoot tip is removed, there will be no growth. So A won't be correct now, B and D, B or D might be correct. Foil cap. Okay, they are given, this is given a foil cap. Although a foil cap is used to cover this polyoptile, it will still grow, but it won't grow to the direction of light. It will just grow vertically. So the correct answer is D. 27. An advisor was presented with a list of statements for a discussion group with potential parents who were considering using in vitro fertilization IVF to start a family. Which statements about IVF are correct? Okay. IVS, uh, IVF is available to everyone. No, this is not the case. IVF is 100% successful and therefore always leads to pregnancy. No. It will only be successful if there is fertilization taking place and still it might not lead to pregnancy. IVF provides an opportunity for single parents to have a family. That is true. If you have studied IVF already, you should know this one. IVF is not expensive and everyone can for it being lie, no. Sperm or egg donation may be involved, which means the couple are not always the biological parents. Yes, this is also true. The biological parents might not be the same as the couple. So 27D is the correct answer. Which sequence of structures does a pollen tube grow through in a flower? As we know, the pollen lands on the stigma, it's basically like this, it has a structure like this where this is where the ovules are. So pollen lands here and grows through the style to the ovary and into the ovule. So C is the only correct sequence. 29. The diagram shows some of the events of the menstrual cycle. In which shaded zone of the cycle would progesterone levels be the highest? Okay, progesterone increases after ovulation and before the period starts. So D is the only correct answer. Third, what is needed in the cytoplasm to make proteins at ribosomes? To make proteins and ribosomes, we need the messenger RNA, which is also known as the mRNA. And to make the protein, we need amino acids. So option C will be correct. 31. Pangolins are mammals. One species of pangolin has 40 chromosomes per body cell, how many chromosomes will a sperm cell from this, say, from this species of pangolin have? 40 chromosomes in body cell, that is, that means this is the diploid number, and sperm cell will contain the haploid number of cell, the uh, haploid number of chromosomes, so it will contain half of the chromosomes in the body cell, so 40 by Two is 20. So 31B will be the correct answer. 32. Which adaptation is shown in the leaves of hydrophytes? Okay, if you don't know, hydrophytes are the 
he lives that are floating in water bodies. I'm sure you have seen. Uh, these are big leaves that floats on the water body. So on ponds and lakes, you might see them often. Hair present on the upper and lower surface? No. Contain large air spaces? Yes, that is the only part. Since it has large air spaces, they, they contain more air and as a result, they can float. Thirty-three, sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder which results in severe illness in homozygous individuals. In some populations, being heterozygous can be beneficial. What could be the reason for this? Okay, they're asking for the reason that it is beneficial to be heterozygous. Heterozygous individuals are not affected by the disorder. Okay, uh, even homozygous won't be affected by the disorder since the sickle cell anemia is a recessive trait. So this won't make it beneficial. Heterozygous individuals are more resistant to malaria. This is what you have studied for uh, heterozygous individuals. So these two don't have sickle cell anemia. Only individuals with this will have sickle cell anemia, but this has an advantage that it is resistant to malaria. So B is the only correct answer. 34. Which statement about selective breeding is correct? It does not involve humans. True. It involves a struggle for survival. No. Uh, that is natural selection. It always involves one, only one parent. No. Uh, it involves parents that possess desirable features. Selective breeding is used in animals to make more, uh, to produce more yield, meat, milk, and other products from animals. 35, the diagram shows the water cycle. Four different processes are numbered. One is definitely rain, and it's also known as precipitation. So C might be correct. Yes, C is the only correct answer. Two is clearly evaporation, converting water into water vapor that is reaching the clouds. So yes, C is the only correct answer. Condensation is happening at three in the clouds. And in four, transpiration is occurring as uh, the arrows point from the trees to the clouds where water vapor is being carried away. 36, a herd of red deer live in a forest that contains snakes and a large variety of birds. Which group of organ organisms is an example of a population? Okay, for a, pop a population, we only consider a specific, a particular species. So there, uh, all the animals in the forest, no. All the red deer in the forest, yes. That will be the only answer as only one species, that is the red deer is mentioned. 37, with which kingdom do bacteria share the same genetic code? Okay. The genetic code is universal. So all the kingdoms share the same genetic code. So 37A will be if you have studied the chapter chapter of genes and DNA, you have seen that um, genetic code is in universal. So all the animals, fungus, plants, and protoctus share the same genetic code. 38, which process makes use of a genetically engineered organism? Using bacteria to produce insulin, yes, this is 
mentioned in your books as well, if you have studied genetic engineering, if you have studied that. So 38A is the correct answer. 39, what is the reason for conserving plant species? To abs absorb oxygen from the air, that is not a reason to conserve. To increase rain, do decrease rainfall, no, that will be an, a disadvantage. To obtain drugs for medicinal use, definitely. To release carbon dioxide in the air, no. So C is the only correct answer. 40, the last one for today. The food web shows the feeding relationships in a woodland. If all the chaffinches in the food web die, which effect would this have? The amount of damage to trees will increase. Okay, if there are no more chaffinches, caterpillars will definitely uh, increase in number. So there will be more feeding of trees. So yes, there will be more damage. 40A will be the correct answer. Food supply for gray squirrels will increase. No, there is no connection. Uh, the number of wood pigeons will increase. No, it won't be correct either. The population of caterpillars will decrease. No, it will increase in fact, as I have said before. So 40A is the correct answer and that concludes the paper. Thank you for watching. Please like subscribe and comment down below if you have further questions or any feedbacks. Thank you.